Hey. I think all Halo fans can agree that scarabs are pretty cool. However, not all scarabs are created equal. For example, the Halo 3 scarab was a real boss fight of incredible spectacle. It was this hulking beast with AI that stomped around and fired at you, it was covered in enemies, and the entire experience was completely dynamic. Pretty great stuff. So, you might be of the opinion that the Halo 3 scarab was the best one, and that's a fine opinion. If you like being wrong, that is. Because the Chad Halo 2 Scarab will always be cooler. I mean, this thing is better in every way. It's taller, it has a way stronger beam, it's uh, blue and uh, basket shaped. Okay, so maybe it's not perfect, but it's definitely more exclusive than the Halo 3 Scarab. And what I mean by that is, in Halo 3, you can easily mod the Scarab to be a drivable vehicle. You literally just turn on the driver's seat and you can hop in it like it's a Warthog. The Halo 2 Scarab, on the other hand, is completely different. It's an animated set piece. That means there's nothing more to it than the very specific path and the very specific animations that Bungie made for it. Everything is handcrafted and not dynamic at all. So it would basically be impossible to drive the Halo 2 Scarab, at least in Halo 2. Trust me, I've, I've tried. It would also be insanely hard to set it up as a functional AI using the same systems Halo 3's Scarab uses. But if someone were to spend weeks enhancing the model and texture detail to match Halo 3 standards, then port over, fix all the animations, and recreate all of the effects and weapons in Halo 3's engine by hand, well then you could drive it just as easily as the Halo 3 Scarab. But that's crazy. Nobody would ever have a hyper fixation on Scarabs enough to do all that work. <laughs> uh, long story short, I, I did all that stuff. And wow, would you look at that? There's a whole Halo 2 Scarab just just in the game. Let's go take a look at it. So of course everybody wants to fight a giant Halo 2 Scarab, but to me I think driving it is also pretty awesome. Let's go up onto this cliff and check it out. As a side note, it is entirely possible that I made an entire map designed around driving the Scarab based on Halo 2's final mission. Now then, let's jump on this thing. So first thing you might notice if you are familiar with the Halo 2 Scarab is that this thing is pretty high quality. I really did put a lot of effort into making the textures and the model significantly more detailed. And of course, you walk up to this hollow screen and you are in. This thing is a ton of fun to drive. And I even went ahead and designed a cool little custom HUD reticle right there on screen for it. That way this feels more like a complete vehicle and not just kind of like a modded mishmash of whatever. While you might be familiar with the giant beam the Scarab has, it also has this thing. A little turret that shoots phantom bolts on the top. As the driver of the Scarab, of course you get to fire it, but in the AI variant, there are two different AIs controlling these turrets, including a little one on the butt, which you can see is looking around and checking stuff out back there. You may also notice in the distance over there, there's some coveys, which I need to take out. Having Sergeant Johnson drive the Halo 2 Scarab in the final mission of the game was pretty cool and all, but I think it's my turn to start blasting some stuff using this thing. They don't see me just yet, but there are some wraiths and ghosts right ahead that are about to have a really bad time. <laughs> and it is insanely satisfying to fire this thing, like, actually ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think the ghosts stand much of a chance. Or the wraiths, for that matter. So, this here is pretty important to me. When I was designing this map as an excuse to make a level where you drive a scarab, it's pretty important to make everything sloped pretty low. That way the Scarab can actually climb over all the terrain. Otherwise it'll end up looking really weird and the Scarab will start glitching out. And I think it worked pretty well. I'll admit it's not perfect. There are definitely some places where you can kind of freak out, but I think it's good overall. It seems those coveys are distracted on a Scarab I left over there. Whoops. Okay, much better. Now they can face me instead. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. I can see that little ghost right there. While it is admittedly a ton of fun to be blasting the hell out of all of these Covey forces, there isn't much of a purpose to this map right now, but I did design it with the intention of being a single player mission, a short experience, where you basically just hijack this scarab and go through and destroy all the Covey forces in the area. 
I actually designed a lot of this on my stream, so if you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, you can come watch me mod live where I do tons of mods. That's actually my main source of content. And if you are a stream watcher, then you've probably already seen all of this stuff 10 times over at this point. So do be sure to check out my streams if you find this content interesting. You can suggest mods and things for me to do live, and it's a really fun time, if I do say so myself. But that just about covers destroying all of the coveys in this large canyon of sorts, so I think it's about time I put down a big ol' scarab and try to fight it to the death. So you'll quickly notice there's a nice change of pace here. We're in a really big test map I made a while ago, which helps me to see how the AI on the Scarab is working. It is way off in the distance there, but yeah, it sees me. I'm gonna be honest, the Scorpion is really not the best vehicle to be fighting this in, but regardless, I'm gonna give it a shot. I am not feeling very confident about getting up close to this thing, because that beam does a lot of damage. Oh, yep, 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 and that's one shot and I'm down. Okay, we might have to try another approach here. Or, alternatively, I could just keep my distance and try to destroy this thing from range, because, you know, if I keep my distance, then its beam will never hit me. I could just take it out from all the way over here. Seems like a fair plan. Doesn't seem all that good at aiming. Although it does seem to be getting closer to me, which is fine. This is totally fine. If I just keep blasting it from here, I'll be fine. Everything's fine! Oh. Yep, totally fine. At least it's little baby turrets on the top aren't very powerful. Look, in no time at all, I'll have this thing down. No time at all. No time at all. Yep, this is totally fine. Okay, maybe, maybe rethink for real this time. Okay, new strategy? Huh, hide. But then take it out in a Banshee. Surely this will go well. Now I feel like I have to dodge the back and top turrets a lot. But I think I should be okay against the main beam. That being said, I do not want to play around with these rear turrets because they are shooting raw phantom bolts, which, if you've ever played campaign, you should know are not exactly the uh, weakest things in the world. Honestly, even scarier than the turrets with the legs. Those things will kick me into oblivion real quick. Now I have to say, I get the opportunity to stare at this thing up close quite a bit when it's an AI, and damn, it looks good in Halo 3's engine. Oh. Mm. All right, I might have panicked a little bit there. All right, my last and best bet here is to use the Pelican. This thing has got a mean chin gun on it, and I know I can take out the Scarab using it. So long as I dodge effectively and don't let it, like, rip me to shreds, I think I'll be okay. But yeah, now those big guns on the top and the back are my biggest threat, because realistically, I can dodge this thing's main beam no problem by side strafing. So I'm not really ooh, too worried about it, as long as I don't play dumb, that is. That being said, I checked this thing's health, and the Scarab itself is very much killable. As long as I can dodge that, yeah. Not a problem. Okay, I am laying in a substantial amount of damage into this thing. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that's my back wing, that's my back wing. And we're dodging, and we're dodging, and we're dodging. Easy, easy. Ow, 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 ow. That's another wing. Not doing a great job at dodging those top turrets, but it's fine, because we finally, finally took the Scarab down. That is what I like to see. Let's take a little bit of a look at our handiwork here. The beauty of a downed Scarab. Looks good. That animation itself there was a custom animation I made from scratch that was inspired by the Halo 2 Scarab dying in that one cutscene. You know the one I'm talking about. I made it actually on stream, so if you go subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, you will get to watch me on stream make stuff, help me make mods, give me suggestions and all that stuff, and if you like to just chill out and see some cool Halo mods, it's a great place to be, so check out my streams whenever you get the chance. That being said, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, and uh, I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.